My beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message! And there is not a spear of American medicine that has gone untouched. Radiation experiments, you know, um, experiments with children, reproductive um, ab abuse and experimentation. Uh, experiments with children, reproductive, um... The coronavirus emergency is the first day of school for millions of kids in the largest district in the country. Yep, right here in New York City. Now, the FDA is cautioning parents about the vaccine. There is progress on the vaccine. Almost three quarters of eligible Americans have taken at least one dose. Wait a minute. Who are you? Allow me to reintroduce myself by name. Tabby Troll, baby. Tabby team. Bro with me, troll the world, hit the road, baby. Huh? Count team, baby. Next. Hit me up, IG, follow me, baby. Huh? Ain't on the pill, but I'm rolling. Rolling on the wheel. Ain't on the pill, but I'm rolling. Rolling on the wheel. Ain't on the pill, but I'm rolling. Rolling on the wheel. Ain't on the pill, but I'm rolling. Rolling on the wheel. Tabby Troll, baby. We want to continue our COVID coverage tonight by showing you what a COVID patient struggling to breathe looks like. This is what happens to people when every weapon in our arsenal is not used to its fullest potential, or even the most obvious one, the vaccine. We warn you, this may be disturbing to some, but it's necessary to see up close just what this nation is fighting patient by patient. Randy Kay has the story. You are watching the desperate attempt to save a COVID patient's life. This 75-year-old woman is having serious trouble breathing and is in desperate need of oxygen. So this patient was being maintained on non-invasive ventilation uh, and unfortunately failed. And so uh, we had to transition to uh, mechanical ventilation, which requires placement of the airway within the endotrachea, uh, within the uh, trachea, the windpipe. Um, so the patient has to be sedated to allow us to uh, access the airway. Dr. Hudman Ho. George, good morning. More than a million kids here in New York City will be back in the classroom this week as the country sees a rise in pediatric COVID cases. The FDA out with a stark warning as they try to work to approve a COVID vaccine for those under the age of 12. And there is not a spear of American medicine that has gone untouched radiation experiments, you know, uh, experiments with children, reproductive um, ab abuse and experimentation. Tonight, growing backlash over President Biden's vaccine mandate. At least 19 Republican governors denouncing the rule, requiring businesses with at least 100 employees to make COVID shots mandatory or offer weekly testing. The president's actions in a mandate hardens the resistance. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis promising a fight. People should not be cast aside because they make a medical decision for themselves. President Biden calling opposition cavalier, adding all federal workers and contractors should be vaccinated within 75 days or face fines. The requirements for vaccination are part of a long tradition that we have in this country of taking steps as a collective to keep people safe. But fall out. If, if, they, if Trump couldn't stop them, who am I? And then they start coming after us one by one. And listen, it's not just about conservatives. It, it's about anybody with the message that they don't agree with. We've seen them delete Boosie IG. We know Boosie be a little wild, whatever, but still. Stupid, <laughs> right? Stupid said hurt. I mean, it's a lot of people that are losing their platforms. You understand? And what happens is it's a form of control. Because if Kwame doesn't have his platform to educate, if I don't have my platform to educate, and the only people that have their platforms are D.L. Hewley, for instance. Like, I went down his page the other day. I saw two types of white people on his page. Either you was a white racist or you was pushing the jack, right? So I'm like, okay, we, we need to pick a choose. Do, do we mess with white people or do we not mess with them? Is, is they racist or they ain't racist when you got a white girl on your page telling us we need to get the jab because we out here sucking dirty penis. I mean, issues, but what we do agree with is freedom is freedom, right? right. We, we don't agree that anybody should be censored. We don't agree that they should be sexualizing our children. We don't agree that they should be mandatory, making a, a, a jab mandatory that 
hasn't even been FDA approved. And then listen, y'all, have y'all been on the CDC website? Why? What is all of this zombie preparedness? They literally got this stuff listed on their website that we need to be preparing for a zombie apocalypse. Now. <laughs> You serious? Yo, this is yo. why we need our guns, because, bro, I'm going to shoot my way up out of whatever situation I'm in. I don't have time to tussle with you. Big Mama done had five kids. I done made it. I still got a nice little shape. I ain't rolling around in the dirt with nobody, and I ain't running from no zombies. I got to shoot my way up out of the situation, which is why I'm odd. Listen, my they said, wait a minute, take away the guns, and then put on the CDC that we need to prepare for a zombie apocalypse. What? This morning, the FDA announcing it won't cut corners when it comes to evaluating the use of COVID vaccinations for children, cautioning parents not to seek out vaccinations ahead of FDA approval, saying in part, children are not small adults. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association, more than a quarter of a million new COVID-19 cases were reported just in children two weeks ago the highest number of weekly pediatric cases on record since the pandemic began. The Department of Health and Human Services says more than 2,500 children are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 nationwide. Pediatrician Dr. Brian Kornreich in Virginia says he's never seen anything like this. It's never been this crazy, never been this busy. It's exhausting all of us. And our biggest concern, of course, is that sick kids aren't getting the care they need. Steve. Uh, experiments with children. Reproductive. Um my beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind.